Hello everyone. So, you're either looking to buy a diamond or you have a diamond and you want to know if it's real and you don't, do not have a diamond tester. Okay? So, I'm going to show you a few easy steps at home to help determine whether or not you have a real diamond or not. First step or test we're going to do is called the heat test or what I like to call it the breath test. Okay? Diamonds um, basically have, do not retain heat. Uh, any heat that's transferred into them is immediately transferred out. Um, now if you have a lab created diamond or a, some other stimulant or a gem, um, it will retain heat causing it to fog up. Now if you have a real diamond and you do the breath test to it, that diamond, if it's real, will not fog up. So I'm going to go ahead here and exhale on this diamond, make sure it's secured so we don't blow it around. Okay, that did not fog up. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to pick up the lab created diamond here and I'm going to exhale onto that as well. Okay, that one fogged up. So right there, that's an indication that that is a fake diamond. Now, there's another way we can test this diamond to see if it's real or not. And that's to put it under a microscope. Go out and get yourself one of these jeweler's loops, microscope, magnifying glass, whatever you have. Okay, they're really cheap. Now, lab-created diamonds do not have any inclusions or imperfections inside them. They are perfect um, in every way, and diamonds made by Mother Nature are not. They have those fine imperfections and the inclusions. Some are visible to the naked eye, others are not. So what we're going to want to do is look into the face of the diamond. You know, you could probably see a few inclusions here and there. You know, that would, that would give us a good indication what you have is a real diamond. Um, you know, something like a man-made, it's too small to show you, but a man-made lab-created diamond will not have any of those imperfections. Uh, that's one good idea. Um, uh, if you have a fake or real diamond. Um, now the last step, you're going to need a small piece of paper, such as this receipt from the U.S. Postal Service. Um, what you're going to want to do is lay the diamond face down, point the point up. Um, now, what you're going to want to do is lay it over some lettering, some small fine lettering on the piece of paper. Now what you're going to want to do is lay that face down and you're going to want to try to look through the diamond. If you can read or make out any of the letters or words, uh, what you have there is not a real diamond. Now if you have a real diamond, you will not be able to see any of the letters at all. That's just one good way to, you know, to see if you have a real diamond or not. Um, other than that, if you go out and get yourself one of these diamond testers on eBay, they're about $25, uh, especially if you're going to be going and buying diamonds off Craigslist or, you know, some other secondary source other than a jewelry store. Um, I mean, it can be as easy as this. You have a positive uh, ID that this diamond is real. And, um, but if you don't have a diamond tester like this one, you're kind of out of luck and you have to resort to these three tricks from my video here. Now, um, in a week or two, I will be uploading another video, how to test gold with acids, things of that nature. Um, you know, and, and after that, in about a month or so, I'll be uploading another video. You'll see we'll be making gold rings, uh, pendants, 
you know, doing all sorts of fancy things with gold and silver. Um, so subscribe if you'd like and uh, stay tuned and I'll talk to you then.